What's going on, everybody? DJ Mind here. Okay, so I get asked every single day. Doesn't matter if it's Discord, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. People are saying, is now a good time to buy graphics cards? Should I get involved in, in GPU mining? GPU mining is dead. I'm just going to try to answer as many of those questions as I possibly can today. So the short answer is, I actually think we're in the infancy of cryptocurrencies. I think 5, 10, 15 years from now, you're going to be really glad that you got involved in GPU mining at this moment. But I would also say that there are better times than others to get involved of GPU mining. In fact, yesterday was unbelievably profitable for probably six to eight hours. And the real reason I'm not 100% sure of what I've been hearing is there were some ETF projects going on and it, it shot the block rewards through the moon. As a two miners user, I saw blocks that were hitting 80 blocks, 50, 25. Then you see a 19. I mean, it was insane. Just to give you a perspective of what a normal day would look like, block rewards are generally two Ethereum, sometimes even three Ethereum. So yeah, to see an 80 is just out of this world. There was also people from flex pool hitting in the multiple hundreds of Ethereum just for a single block and things were insane yesterday. So why do I say that? Why do I bring that up? If you're new to crypto mining and you looked at what to mine.com, that's pretty much what everybody uses. You'll see that we were making way too much money yesterday. I mean, it's not a bad thing, obviously, but like if you were to look and say, oh, how much am I going to make? And just looked at like the 24 hour average. Oh, wow. We're all killing it. Right. And so I have a 4.7 giga hash right now at nighttime. We're actually hitting just about five giga hash because I added a a lot of graphics cards so you know if i looked at it it was a huge increase than what i would normally get some days my farm is making 180 dollars every single day and then other times it's 230 dollars a day right so it doesn't really make sense to focus so much on the dollar amount really focus on that coin if i were you so why did i mention that sometimes are better than others to get involved in gpu mining or really cryptocurrencies in general well really it comes down to the price of these graphics cards right now is actually not bad you're starting to see a lot of graphics cards specifically AMD, but also NVIDIA very close to their MSRP. They've come down probably 30% for when I called out people should hold the line. A lot of people didn't. I wish they would have, but I do think over the course of the next few months, we'll see another 15, 20%, maybe long-term, we'll see a 30% drop from what the prices are right now. So would I get involved in cryptocurrencies right now? Of course, sure, I would, but I would be patient and I would really look for deals. So just to give you an example of how being patient pays off, I recently purchased an entire four gigahertz hash farm that was 80 graphics cards all non-LHR I paid $23,000 and that ended up being about $5 and 80 cents per mega hash. Now, are you gonna get that deal? I genuinely think you can find deals like that because I mean, yes, I am a YouTuber. I know people love to blame it on that, but I'm a very small YouTuber. I have 6,000 subscribers, you know? I don't post a video and get 10, 20,000 views every time. It's very rare for me. So what I'm saying is anybody could do this. So did YouTube have a piece of it, a part of it? Sure, but I do think if you get yourself out there, you get your name out there, you start joining the Discord, you're looking at Facebook Marketplace, you're actively seeking those deals and making offers that are lower than what people are wanting, you'll find them. So yeah, can you get involved in GPU mining? I definitely think you can, and I definitely think you should, but the price has to be perfect. I wouldn't even be paying what EVGA is asking, MSI, New Egg, Best Buy. I really wouldn't pay any of those prices. You know, if it's not a great deal and you're not getting that low risk, and let me tell you why you have to get low risk, right? The reason you need to do that is because Ethereum merge could come at any time. In fact, if you didn't watch the most recent video, the Ethereum bomb has has gone off the difficulty bomb has gone off so what that means is potentially what we're going to see is over time we're going to get less and less block rewards another reason i think that you should get involved in the gpu mining world is because we don't know what's going to happen with the 4000 series I, my prediction right now it's going to be a little bold i think they're going to come out they're going to go way over msrp potentially two times msrp and from what the leaks are saying assuming that those are true things like the 4090 are going to be 900 watts i mean that's insane dude we're gonna to have to get new psus we're gonna to have to get so many different things there's not going to be a lot of supply I do think there'll be a shortage. And so, you know, do you want to start getting your graphics cards at that point? Maybe you do. I'm not really sure what your strategy is, but I don't think that the next series of graphics cards are going to be that incredible as far as efficiency. I could be wrong. I'm sure that they'll hash away, but assuming that Ethereum goes away by that time, I mean, are those going to be the most efficient cards or people going to want the 3000 series even more at that point? I'm not really too sure. Another reason I think it's a great time to get involved with GPU mining is because of the community. Now you can't really put a dollar amount on that but if you've ever wanted to be a part of something greater than yourself 
I mean, I used to play football in high school and I always miss that feeling of camaraderie. Well, you get that in the GPU world. I don't know for the ASIC world, but I know for the GPU world, man. Yesterday we were all playing Pug G and the Misfit Mining Discord. And that was like so fun, you know, and we just talk about mining. We also game. You'll meet so many like-minded individuals. You know, if there's something wrong with your rig, we're very helpful. I try to help as many people as I can. It's a family. I've actually ended up meeting a lot of people from the mining community. People like Rondi and Brian Hollywood helped me out bring my entire farm from Florida to New York. And, and you know, that's the kind of people that you're involved in. That's the kind of people that you're meeting. You know, it, it really is a brotherhood, a sisterhood, a family. And some of these people I would actually introduce to my family if they live close to me. The elephant in the room that you're going to see online and really everyone, especially the gamers love to say mining is going to die. Mining is going away. Yeah, everybody's heard that before. Everybody's heard that for Bitcoin. And yes, will Ethereum go away? Of course, eventually it will go away. But that doesn't mean there aren't other coins out there. Now, again, fair warning, it could be a very bumpy road for the next few years, but I can't imagine that we won't have another bull run. Guys, in my opinion, what's going to happen? Eventually, Bitcoin is going to shoot to the moon. When that happens, not really if, but when that happens, every other crypto is going to go up. Now, will it shoot up as high as Bitcoin? That's really hard to say. But I do think if you're getting good, solid coins like Flux, Firo, Ravencoin, things like that, you'll do fine. It'd be a safer route, right? And you don't have to go for like the craziest spec coins. But overall, Bitcoin going up really brings up the rest of the market, even if it's just 20, 30 percent. That's still really good. Something I must warn you, though, is your electric rate, right? Because if things do get bad, we're already in a bear market, but if we if things just completely collapse, your electric rate is everything. If you have 40 cents electric, would I recommend GPU mining? Not really, unless you just have a couple for fun, you know, like in your gaming computer or something. Yeah, sure. But other than that, probably not. 30 cents starts to get very dangerous. 20 cents is a bumpy road and anything, you know, not under... 10 cents honestly is going to hurt long term, assuming that the ice age does come. I'm at 15 cents, so I'm not very safe myself, but my other house, the HOA, you know, that one's free electric or included electric. So the two kind of go in the middle and I'm probably averaging around 7.5 cents. At that rate, it's pretty decent. But again, if you have 20, 25, 30, you know, you're obviously gonna get kicked out of the GPU mining world much quicker than somebody that had like five cents or three cents. So just really consider your electric rate and what you wanna do with that. If you ever need some reassurance of if cryptocurrencies are going to be here 5, 10, 15 years from now, I strongly encourage that you go to YouTube and watch the rise and rise of Bitcoin. I've personally watched this movie about three times. It's free. I think you might have to pay for it some other places, but on YouTube, I know that you can watch it. I'll put a link for that in the description below, but it will show you the cycles, man. This shows you people that were involved in Bitcoin from the very beginning. They'll see so many ups and downs, and this is just another one of those cycles, man. Obviously, Bitcoin's a little bit different than GPU money, but I think cryptocurrencies as a whole, if you're ever not feeling confident, just watch that movie and you will be like, you know what, man? Cryptocurrencies, we're good to go. So let me know if you like this new angle. I actually have two cameras hooked up right now. This one's brand new Sony A4. 100, uh, not sponsored or anything. If you'd like to see this angle more, if you like the webcam angle, which was the straightforward one, just let me know in the comment section below and maybe I'll film my videos like that. If you ever want to connect with me, you can check me out on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and join our Discord. We always need more people there and I'll catch you guys in the next one. DJ Minds signing out.